several people have asked us or commented saying that now that we're, you know, because we're here, because we're going to get jobs, because we're in the Buffalo area again, they've asked if we're going to continue our videos or they've said, you know, they hope we don't stop making videos. So we wanted to answer that, the question, are we quitting YouTube? Stay tuned and we'll tell you. So we had a few comments, several actually, with people wondering if we were going to continue to make videos after we started our jobs and got back to Buff the Buffalo area. So we wanted to address that and let you know. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, how we started our channel and wh why we started our channel. I never knew what I wanted to do growing up and I always wondered. And one thing I always took to and always liked to do is I like I always took a lot of pictures, I always had a camera, I was taking, not always, but I liked having cameras and I would take a lot of pictures and do a lot of videos and I've always really enjoyed that. One thing, yeah, one thing I remember when uh, we first started dating was you were always taking videos and I think that in itself tells, tells you, what you what you were meant to do right from the start. Yeah, so yeah. I have, that's why I have a lot of footage that we use at the end of our videos, a lot of times retro footage, because I've always been taking videos. I always wanted to, I enjoy it and I wanted to create memories and have memories to keep, you know. So, so we were planning on moving to North Carolina and so we had all this clutter and stuff and I was trying to get rid of it and I was going to, I didn't want to pay movers to move us so I was going to get a U-Haul and we had a three bedroom house and I was going to get a four bedroom U-Haul. <laughs> And so, <clears throat> then through minimalism videos, we ended up finding Bob Wells, and I watched one of his videos, and I showed it to Sal, and I said, Sal, you know what, I think we need to consider this, but watch this video and tell me what you think. And he watched it, and he said, yeah, remember what you said? I said, yeah, definitely, that's what I want to do. <laughs> so Sal said he had he, he did want to consider it and so we started considering it and looking into it and so we kept watching we kept watching the uh, minimalism videos and we started watching some other channels of people who were doing RV living and so since I never really knew what I wanted to do but I always liked making videos and stuff I said you know what I think this might be something I'd like to do but I never knew how to edit and so Probably a couple of years before that, Sal had made me a video. He had edited it, edited it, and he made this really nice video for me for Valentine's Day. And I was really impressed by it. It was really good. So you liked that video? Yeah, it was really nice. That was a really good video, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he made this video, and I was really impressed by it. And I thought once I started watching other videos and things, other channels, I thought, you know what, this might be the right thing for me. And so I decided to learn how to edit and I start, had started recording different um, things to start a channel on. And so one day I recorded a bunch of things, a couple of days I recorded some things from our cleaning business and I, as a surprise for Sal, mm. I learned how to edit like in a weekend in like two days. I, I, I don't know how I did it. <laughs> I still don't know how I did it, but I just... <laughs> looked at a bunch of videos and I learned how to do it and I did it and I made a video that was pretty good yeah I remember when I first saw that video I was really impressed I said, wow this is pretty good Sharon's really got a talent for this what you do <laughs> so I, I tend to think that things that we really like are what we're meant to do so yeah. yeah so then we had talked about it and we decided to make a channel while we were out on the road and so then we decided to do RV living and we moved forward. We got our house ready to sell. We got rid of the clutter first. And yeah. we have videos on all that if you haven't seen them, but they're worth watching. Yeah. Because we have a step by step of kind of how we went, you know, got started on this lifestyle. We pretty much recorded everything, everything right from the start. We, re we, we recorded everything. It's all out there. So, so then. We agreed on making the channel and we got rid of a lot of stuff. We got rid of so much stuff. 
and then I start you know I started making videos and we started the channel officially around the end of July of 2017 July 2017 and so then in January we were ready to monetize it where we could actually start making money on it because the first six months we didn't make any money on it mm. and so then they changed the rules and so we had to wait even longer and I was afraid of how long it would take mm. and it ended up taking one full year before we were able to put ads on our videos and start making money from them and it it you know it, it has now it's been about a year almost mm -hmm. a year that we have been making some money and hopefully someday I don't know how long it will take but hopefully someday someday we'll be able to you know you know it's been we've been making some money a little bit you know it grows slowly over time and sometimes quickly you know it depends how how well the channel does and so um, so to answer the question yes we do plan on continuing to make the videos we're gonna continue making the videos yeah oh well, we are yeah oh, okay just kidding I know. <laughs> <laughs> so so to answer the question yes we do intend to continue um, I try to make the videos as, as as good as I possibly can you know sometimes it's a challenge have there been times that we wanted to quit that I wanted to quit when you're editing unless it's perfect Sharon is a perfectionist she tries to put the best product out there for videos and so I'm just amazed with the kind of uh, work she does on these things on these videos and I, I try to help her as much as I can but most of what you see the finished product that is Sharon and that's her her work I do most of the filming I do pretty much all of the editing and what Sal was saying is like some there have been times that sometimes what when I, I, I maybe someday I'll do a video on, on my process of making videos but mm. what I do is I make the video and then I have it all set and then I'll process it I have to process it to put it in the format to put it on the channel so I'll process it and then watch it one more time <laughs> and sometimes it means having watched it five or ten times and so I'll watch it one more time and then before it gets uploaded and sometimes on that one more time before it gets uploaded I'll find something <laughs> and sometimes it'll change a little bit when you up when you change the format like a little part that shouldn't be in there like a little bit of voice or something it'll just be in there when it wasn't in the the one before you change the format mm. so there have been times that I've re you know had to you know so I don't want this it's just not right it's not perfect enough and I'll, I'll edit it and then I'll you know I have to reprocess it again and watch it again and what will I say sometimes when you say that sort of thing I'll say you ask me is it okay what, what what's my typical answer usually what it's I'll say. fine it's fine it's fine <laughs> but you know what a lot of times it's not fine so I've, I'm starting to learn to uh, just uh, defer to her and because she has a knack for this sort of thing and she knows what what makes a good video well I just I want them to be real I want the videos to be really really good as good as they can possibly be yeah so you know and so we appreciate you know we we get a lot of positive feedback on our channel so I think that we're doing well you know here we are after not quite two years and we're over 3,300 subscribers and so it's just you know it, it's we hope to see the channel continue to grow we appreciate I want to say we appreciate everyone that has shared our channel with their friends have told right. their friends about us you know that really helps thank you and thank we you. really appreciate it we appreciate all the wonderful feedback we've gotten all the wonderful comments people saying how much they enjoy our videos and our channel so many people have said our channels their favorite channel <laughs> and it's just you know it's, it's it's very positive to hear those things to know that you know the work that I do is people in, are enjoying it and so that's a good sign because I think there's always times you know I mean there have been times where we would be out boondocking with our the tribe or our friends or whoever and everybody's outside having fun and I want to go out and I can't you know and mm. so it can be hard and discouraging and or maybe I just might have been really tired and 
how much I did not feel like working on a video that day, but I have to do it, so, but I do it. A lot of times people, um, when, a lot of people will ask when we're boondocking with our friends why we don't come out more, and the main reason is because, one of the main reasons is because Sharon uh, is trying to do the best she can on these, on the videos, and it just takes some time and effort. And sometimes people have told me, oh, don't bother working on it so hard. You don't have to work on it so hard, but, <laughs> you know, I think if, if you want a channel to be really successful, I think they're going to have to put a lot of work into it. So I think you're on the right path. Um, I think we definitely want to continue, and we'll just keep doing what we do. And hopefully you guys will keep enjoying all the videos that, you know, Sharon and I put out. Mostly Sharon. And Sal makes them too. Sometimes he'll go off on his own. Maybe someday if, you know, I might be in bed, not, you know, not feeling as well or whatever. And he'll go out and make a video of what's going on. He might go outside, walk around. You know, he's done a few of them. So that's been helpful. Um, one thing I wanted to say was uh, generally, you know, the a lot, of, a lot of channels, I mean, I think every channel gets nasty comments you know when we've gotten our share we don't we don't get a lot of nasty comments compared to what I've heard other people get so um, luckily I think our channel draws really nice people and so we've get mostly nice comments we have gotten some nasty ones though and you know it can be discouraging I was actually afraid of dealing with comments before I started this because I had heard about what kind of comments some people get and right. I remember telling Sal that yeah if it got really bad and I couldn't handle it that you know I was going to ask him to do the comments because mm. I, I think he's got a little bit of a thicker skin and so I figured he could deal with the comments better but um you know it, it's I think as time goes on after you get some of the comments it's just not as hard anymore they don't really bother you as much you know right so but I did want to talk so we are going to continue our channel we're planning on continuing and I wanted to talk about a little bit about what what's what we're planning a couple of things we're planning um, now that we're here at the campground it's kind of a different thing you know we're stationary and so some of the plans for the future we we have a video we have a couple of videos that we made while we were on the road still and we're going to do them uh, one of which is about something that happened when we stayed overnight at a casino. So stay tuned for that. And mm -hmm. then we have one about a day of travel and we have some uh, tours that we did. And anything else? There's a few yeah. of those things. I want to get back to doing the Q&A again because we had to kind of put that on hold for a little bit because everything happened with the getting stuck in the sand and all the things that happened and then so got the job right. and we had to rush yeah. back here and so and we you know our videos did get behind a little bit because of mm -hmm. everything that happened and people noticed because <laughs> um there were no leaves on the trees <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so when we got here it was like right before the the leaves got on the trees and if you look at our from the day we left parker to to get here it took us three weeks and three days, I think, okay, to get here. But if you look at our videos and see how long of a span, I think they went about five weeks. So that's two weeks right there, and we were a little bit behind to begin with. So, But now we'll be getting more caught up because when we first got here, I, I kind of went with it because when we first got here, I knew it was probably going to be challenging and we would have so much, so much new stuff that it would be helpful to me to still be able to work on the, the old footage that I had from right. us coming here. So I think it worked out really well. So, but we do have some more things coming up. Yeah, stay tuned everybody. We got some good stuff uh, coming up, like Sharon said. And if you're new to our channel, go ahead and check out some of the old stuff that we have too. Because right. there's a lot of good old, older videos out there from when we started. You know, it's been almost two years now that we've been, we've had our channel, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you everybody and have a wonderful day and we hope you enjoy the view of uh, the water behind us and the trees.
Ah, oh, dude, you gotta bring it up. You gotta bring it up. Come on. <laughs> you gotta bring it up, man. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.